Hey there guys, McLovin here, and welcome to Pixelverse, guys. So pretty much Pixelverse is just a uh, server that's pretty much like Pixelmon, except for you don't have to download mod packs, so it's pretty awesome, guys. And I have started using the Bad Lion client again, so we're going to see um, just how that works. So pretty much uh, our objective right now is to talk to the fisherman. This is going to be like your bedroom where you first spawn in. And um, it looks like we're going to go to this glowy guy. Yeah, fisherman quest. Okay, okay. Uh, rise and shine, kid. You've been asleep for a long while. Welcome to the Kyoku region. Professor Koa told me that he would be at the information center. Follow the path up the hill. Walk in and go to the second floor. And don't forget, press shift F to bring up your mini map. Okay, there's our mini map. Uh, it'll show you where the next objective is. It was a pleasure meeting you, trainer. Alright, so now we need to go and... Um, talk to him and then if we bring up the mini map uh, it's gonna bring up that arrow for us and uh, you can play with friends with the co-op mode um, pretty awesome stuff so far guys so let's just kinda get up here as quickly as possible and I almost did do this as a series um, almost a year ago guys but uh, I've decided to come back give it a retry now and um, so yeah guys if you guys want to see more of it uh, make sure to let me know uh, just by giving me some simple feedback and all of that. So this is the information center. Uh, let's go up and talk to Professor Koa. Greetings, I am Professor Koa. Do you remember me? I'm an old family friend of yours. I remember when you were just a wee stub. Uh, I know you're here to visit your mother in Han Hanali and start your Pokemon training, but you can't become a Pokemon trainer without your first Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes, th these three Pokemon just arrived yesterday, and I'd like you to have one. Go ahead, don't be shy. Alright, so we get to choose between Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, so Grass Pokemon, I feel like you can get a lot of. So Bulbasaur, sadly, you are out. Um, Charmander, Fire, um... Uh, Squirtle, Charmander... Squirtle. I think we're going to go with Squirtle. I kind of like the uh, whole water idea. But also there's not... It's literally just a coin flip here. Uh, let's just go for Squirtle. Why not? Uh, except Pokemon. Great choice. You have an eye for good Pokemon. I just feel like so many people pick fire. So I want to pick water. Uh, now we can finally get to Hanali. Your mother is probably waiting for you. Uh, there's a helicopter at the end of the path. I'll meet you there. Alright, um, perfect. Alright, ooh, I kind of like these textures as well. Let's kind of throw out our Pokemon. Okay. Ooh. I put the highest settings on for now, guys. I don't think I should have a problem, uh, with the new PC. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's see. Am I supposed to go up and around, down? Where am I supposed to be going? I feel like... It's pointing this way. Uh, is there a way back out this way? Maybe am I am I struggling right now? Yeah, I was struggling. Okay, but now we're good. All right, battling. All right, so we got Noah. Um, let's just. Oh wait, maybe we should talk to him. Let's do this. Okay, that's what Squirtle said. You need a swerf. Oh, come back here. Yeah, come back here, Squirtle. I just got my first Pokemon. Oh, look, it's a trainer. Hey, you want a battle? I'll teach you how. I just got my first Pokemon. It, come on, it'll be fun. To start off, both players throw their Pokemon out. Both trainers take turns going back and forth, either attacking using an item until all the opponent's Pokemon fade. Each Pokemon has multiple moves. Each move is unique in that they can be different types or do different things, deal damage, weaken the opponent, and so much more. You can also switch between your Pokemon if you have more than one in the middle of battle, although keep in mind switching your Pokemon will take up that turn. If you don't think you can win a fight, you can always run away. Okay, this kind of goes fast. The only po problem is that you can't run from other trainers, only wild Pokemon. Gotcha. Anyways, those are the basics. Did you get all that? Uh, great. Now, get ready to fight. Alright, whatever. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, you're about to get smacked down. Alright, so it takes us uh, to this random little area. Ooh, got the nice look here. Alright, let's just fight, tackle, why not? He's got Lickitung, our Squirtle. He's got level 3. Uh, we did, what, 22% damage. He just did 15. It looks like he paralyzed us, though, um, which 
he used Lickitung again, but we're smacking down on him right now. Let's uh, just keep hitting him with the tackles. You know, I like to just do as much damage as quickly as possible, especially on these beginner fights. I just want to get it over with. Um, plus, I don't really have like anything, and it's a trainer battle, so come on. One more hit. One more hit, Squirtle. We're, we're dogging him. We're dogging him right now. Come on. All right, there we go. Easy win, easy level ups. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, wow, you're pretty good at this. I was a pleasure battling with you. I recommend you going to the Poke Center. They'll hear your Pokemon for free. The Poke Center is along the path. Talk to my friend, um, Jared, and he'll tell you how it works. Good luck. All right, talk to Jared at the Poke Center. All right, so we got 200 meter run this time. That's just a little further than we have been. Um, Pokemon hurt. Well, good news, you're not all out of luck. Continue walking and you can heal at the Poke Center. As much as I want to uh, follow the path, um, walking at this angle would be better, but it looks like it's blocked off. So we're just gonna have to run down here. Oh, there's a wild diglet level 14. Yeah, I'm not going for that right now. Uh, what is under me? Um, uh, Magicka. Alright, yeah, all that stuff is way too high leveled. And what? I, I became trainer level 4. I don't really know what that means. Um, that's just giving me some more tips. Alright, so Poke Center is right here. I'm assuming the glowing character is Jared. Jared, what do you got to say? Welcome to the Poke Center. What can I do for you? Oh, you want to heal your Pokemon? That's not a problem. Give your Pokemon to the nurse Joy behind me and she'll heal them up right away. Using the Poke Center is free as well. How great is that? Hmm, what's that? That's over there. That's a PC. PCs are used to store extra Pokemon that can be found at every Poke Center. As you have already noticed, you can only have a maximum of six Pokemon at one time you can deposit and withdraw for no cost i sense that you're new to this whole pokemon thing so i recommend that you visit the pokemart they'll have all kinds of great products to help you on your journey they're, us they're usually in every town come back soon trainer got it got it got it nurse joy um yes please heal my pokemon all right thank god it's so quick all right we have a level seven squirtle he, le he, he leveled up because he smacked down that person Alright, 106 meters. I just want to finish the tutorial. That is a high level Geo dude. Why is everything here so high leveled? I feel like it's so hard to get good po to get anything right now here. Alright. Uh Pokemart is right here. Perfect schmurfect. Alright. Uh welcome to the Pokemart. Can I be of assistance? Oh, first time customer. Great to hear. Pokemarts like this one are filled with items that can help you strengthen your Pokemon, heal them, teach them new moves and much more. In order to buy these you must have enough Poke coins uh from selling items, battling trainers, and completing quests. If you want to buy something you can talk to the clerk. Um that's about all. Uh and then we have to go to the helicopter to get flying. So we have a hundred gems, three hundred and eleven Poke um coins so let's just buy um some pokeballs all right we'll buy three pokeballs uh for now so that we'll be able to catch some stuff if we ever run into anyone um yeah so how to collect um gym badges along the way of your conquest to become the ultimate gym battler all right we got braxton here what's up Hey there, I can't let you through here without battling me first. That's the spirit. Let's do this. Okay, if you smack down me though, I literally have one Pokemon. Oh, he's got a he's got a level four Diglett. He's he's done. He is done. Alright, Diglett, you scratch 13%. Oh, big 47. Big 47 bits. Alright, yeah, Diglett, keep saying your name because you're about to get smacked. Alright, he scratched me again. Only done 25%. Down to 5%. Let's just finish him up, Squirtle. Uh, with a nice little tackle. Perfect, Smurfect. Come on. Diglett fainted. Um, Squirtle got one rare candy. I've leveled up to trainer level 6. Well, well, you have some talent, kid. I don't think I've introduced myself. My name is Braxton, I'm an old dream leader. I've been traveling around for my retirement. 
Alright. Uh, hmm, you don't know what a gym is? Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, I should probably... This is a type of, of gym in, in every town in Kyoku. Each of them has an elemental type that it specializes in. You have to beat all the other trainers that are inside of a gym before you can battle the gym leader. The gym leader is the toughest of all of the previous trainers in the gym. If you beat a gym leader, you get a badge. Gym badges allow you to proceed to different areas and start more advanced quests. Uh, the goal is to collect all of the gym badges and become the ultimate Pokemon trainer and become... And maybe even become a gym leader yourself. As a token of your hard work here today, I'd like to give you your trainer card. It's very important that you have identification. And you're now a trainer. Thank you for the wonderful fight. I wish you the best on your journey. I feel like like they should do more justice to these people who who have um who say they're like all mighty and powerful and not just give them a level four diglet, but that's fine, whatever. Um Ooh, they have a nice Discord, awesome. Uh, Kakuna, level 10, I also don't think I, I probably could get that, but I also don't really want a Kakuna. Alright, so fast travel helicopters to travel, and they cost Poke coins. It's good to see you've made it. Ah, yes, I must not forget to tell you, helicopters are the fresh way, um, to travel to locations you've been to before. There are many throughout the region to make your life easier, and the ride is super smooth. Here, take this temporary helicopter pass. This should get you to any time you want. Free of charge for two hours. Normally when you fast travel with helicopters, you need a travel tax. This flight is on me. Every Pokemon is unique, and I encourage you to find all 151 Pokemon. Anyway, um, what, what did he say? Anyway, um, enough of that. It's time to get going. I'm ready when you are. Alright, thank you for the 5,000 Poke coins. That's a little ridiculous. Uh, Pilot, um, what a great day to fly. Where would you like to travel, trainer? Um... Spawn level, level 100. Okay, so we want to go to Hanoi. Alright, um, the tropical state. Got it. Um, alright, so I think this is where we want to go, and then we just gonna, um, see what's on here. Can I, can I pick you? What did, what did I get? Uh, red apricorn. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and wrap up this one here. If you guys enjoyed uh, Pixelverse or Pixelmon and you guys want to see more of it on my uh, channel, go ahead and let me know by commenting down below, subscribing if you aren't already. Uh, just give me some good like feedback so I know you guys are enjoying, as well as view counts. Make sure to share it with some friends and all that stuff. But anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you're having a great day. Peace out.